Hi, this is Vasily, and you are watching second flip animation video. Let me show you the reference. You see how sequence flipping up and down with no intersection and color changing? I will do the same from the scratch. I will start from the sequence shape. It would be tube with small inner radius, small outer radius and small height. I need to create connect object, disable weld option, put tube under the connect and move the tube 10 cm away. Now my sequence has a pivot on one of the edge of the tube. Let's move everything under the cloner with honeycomb mode and multi-instance mode. I need to reduce the space between sequences and I will increase the amount. Now I'm going to remove wet overlap. I will create a plane effector and check position, remove fields color and set rotation ranking as minus 6. I will name this as initial rotation. Now I will create the second plane effector and will name this as a wave. Uncheck position, uncheck field color and set pitch rotation to minus 85. I will drive animation with fields. Let me create first layer as solid. When I change value from 0 to 100, my sequence flipping from neutral position to upward. I will change this by disabling this switch, adding range map modificator and set minimum output as minus 100. Now when I'm changing value from 100 to 0, my sequence flipping from one side to another. Let me add material. I will put gradient shader, change these values. I will set this interpolation to step. This color should be white and second color should be black. To change projection from UV mapping to flat, right click on material and set fit to object. Now one side is black and second is white. Let me set reflectance as well. Turn on corner and test animation again. Now it's flipping from black to white. Perfect. Set value to zero and add a spherical field. Put this under range map and keep this blending mode as max. Put spherical field under the cloner. Um, I will name this as opener. And I'm going to animate size of that field and inner offset. Go to frame 60. Change the size and change the inner offset. Set the keyframes. Next, I will start new spherical fields here. What would close all my sequences? I will add new spherical fields, put this under range map, change mode blending to minimum, and remapping to invert. Put this above the cleaner, and again. I'm going to animate the size and inner offset. Keyframe this and name this as close. Let's see animation.
it's already good, but I'd like to change the sharpness. Select both spherical fields, go to remapping tab, go to control mode and set curve, and change curve shape to look wet like. Now we have sharper flipping and smooth relaxing animation. Let's color this. I will create new plane effector, name this as plane color. Disable position checkbox. And I will set first color as a solid. We will start from red color. We don't see any effect because our material doesn't support color. Let's disable material. And I will change my color along with flipping. I will put my spherical fields here. Disable value. And change red color to saying yellow. Let's play. So initially we have a red color and while it opens and it changed to yellow. Let's enable materials again. Go to the shader settings. Change gradient to the fusion. Go to the fusion. Enable use mask. Drag and drop our gradient to the mask channel. Change base channel as a color. It should be black. And blend channel should be more graph color shader. Let's check it again. It starts from red and changing to yellow. We almost done, but we need. Let's add some randomness. Go to plane wave. Add a random field. Change scale 1000, change type to electric, put everything under range map and change blending mode to overlay. Let's play again. Now we need to remove that intersection. I need to create a backplate, it would be a cube. That big. Would be black. We have no reflectance. I will put rigid body collider tag, and on my cloner I will put rigid body tag. Now let's change shape to cylinder y axis. It's the same as our tube orientation axis. Also, I will change the force from follow position from 0 to 50 and same for rotation. Also, I will go to mass tab, check this custom center checkbox and put the center to that value. Go to the project settings, go to the dynamics tab and disable the built-in gravity. Select the tag, go to Cache tab and click Bake All. Now let's add the camera. Set X and Y. Zoom a bit. first frame, you will see there is no randomness at all, let's choose a different, yeah, let's click to the fifth frame, and starting from this frame we have a beautiful animation, when our sequence flipping up and down. In the attachment you will find a reference project with much more spherical fields, and small expressor script that is controlled in our set automatically. Go check it, have fun! and see you in the next video.